Hey guys, welcome to the video. Thank you for stopping by and watching. This video is talking about the Twitch ad incentive program. It's pretty juicy, pretty juicy. I want to thank my patrons at patreon.com slash Buona. Thank you so much for being so awesome. And thank you for subscribing to this channel. And if you do like the video, please click the like button and or click that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. Hello YouTube, this is Buona from Buona.tv and uh, I want to talk about something that's a little bit controversial right now on Twitch. I kind of hit my hat pretty hard there uh something going on on twitch and it's regarding ads and uh you may not have heard of this but twitch is rolling out um a, a very attractive offer for streamers called the ad incentive program and uh it allows streamers to make a little bit more money if they commit to so many ads per hour uh and one of the controversial things about this thing from twitch is that the ads per hour are run automatically so you have no control over it <clears throat> as a streamer and traditionally streamers try to gravitate towards taking breaks and running ads during those breaks or give their users some sort of a heads up that ads are about to run you know hopefully you don't miss anything so it kind of under underlines the issue with advertisements and live form video uh and a lot of people hate it because they miss stuff they compare it to other services like cable tv hulu netflix or whatever and they say okay on those things i watch an ad but the content pauses with live video, the content doesn't pause. You miss stuff. And to that, I say I agree. Live form video and advertisements, uh, they are designed to to be disruptive. Yeah, they are designed to be disruptive. And I think everybody knows this. And the more disruptive they are, the more you want to get rid of them. Uh, so either you watch the ad, are forced to watch the ad, or you pay up money so that you don't. Now, Twitch has multiple options to get rid of the ads. They have, you can just subscribe to most streamers and... You don't see the ads. A lot of people choose that if they only watch a handful of streamers. But a, a less common thing that people surprisingly don't know about is a feature called Twitch Turbo. And Twitch Turbo is a site-wide solution. You should probably look at it. If you recall, when Twitch Prime first came out, uh, Twitch Prime is the service that Twitch allows you to you know, have some Twitch benefits if you have Amazon Prime, since Amazon bought them out. Now, if you have, if back in the day when you had Twitch Prime, you got no ads on the entire site. They removed that and everybody panicked. And then suddenly people were like, you do, you do know about Twitch Prime, right? I mean, you do know about uh, Twitch Turbo, right? And they were like, what? Twitch Turbo? What's that? And I was shocked. I, I was shocked that people didn't know about Twitch Turbo because it's been around for a very long time. Twitch Turbo allows you to pay a flat rate, a flat fee on the site every month, around 10 bucks. I think it's like eight ninety nine. That's around $10. And you get no ads on the entire site. So that's a solution that I personally recommend. If your favorite streamer or streamers are opting into the ad incentive program and you're tired of seeing ads and you don't want to sub to all of them, listen, Twitch Turbo is your, is your, is your, is your, is your, is your solution, man. And before y'all say, I don't want to give Twitch any money. They make too much money, blah, blah. Listen, I'm going to break something down for you. Twitch costs money to make. It costs money to build and it costs money to run. A lot of money. And a lot of insiders and outsiders agree that Twitch loses money. Even with all the millions of subs and the bits and all the stuff they charge us for and the advertising, Twitch still loses money. So they're going to try to get more money in the best ways they can see without draw without driving us away in droves. Now, when you talk about consumers and consumer relationships, it's really tough to discuss this to a consumer because you're a business. You want to make money, but you want to keep them happy. And... Twitch runs on advertisements. So the entire site is absolutely free. You don't have to pay a dime, right? So you don't have to pay a dime. You have to pay something, right? You got to pay your time. You got to pay your personal information. You probably got to pay for, you know, viewing some advertisements. So they got to, they got to, they don't take your dollars and or euro and or whatever currency you have, but they take something else. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so it, if, if, if you're encountering this issue, and a lot of said, like I said, there's a lot of people out there that are getting very vocal about their favorite streamer or streamers they know that are opting into the ad incentive program with Twitch, and they're running a lot more ads than they usually do, right? And let's just get right down to the point. A lot more advertisements are being run than normal, um, and they're threatening to leave. They're like, all right, if you're going to do this, I'm going to leave. This is, this is the power of the viewer. If you do this, I will leave said streamer and you know what given the economy that we're living in given the state that the you know especially in the u.s inflation prices are going up wages are going down jobs are drying up this industry the the streaming industry is going to it's getting tighter and tighter less subs are happening less bits less tips you know a lot less contributions are coming so streamers including myself we 
the world on our hustling hat. We're looking at sponsorships. We're looking at other engagements. We're looking at other avenues of revenue. We're looking at merch. We're looking at all the, I'm looking at 3D printing. I got all this other stuff going on in different places to have multiple revenue streams because, you know, my mantra, don't put all your, all your eggs in one basket. So Twitch is a very up and down thing. And now it's like going down. But with an ad incentive program, right, it gave us a source of revenue that was once small and is much larger now. I can tell you this. In the last month, I was in an ad incentive program. I made more money on ads than I did on subs. That has not happened in over eight years. And I've been streaming for 15 years. Over eight years, I, I haven't seen that. The ad rates were really, really good back then. And suddenly we see this big jump. You know, we got theories as to what's happening. Everybody's like, oh, Twitch is... The rates have always been this. Twitch has been pocketing money, blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever's, whatever's the case. We, we don't know the truth unless we know the truth, right? Unless you guys got some insider information, we can speculate. <clears throat> the bottom line is, is that streamers are getting offered a lot. I saw Gathalion put out a tweet that he's getting an offer for $21,000 a month to run ads in the ad incentive program. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I, it's, when you see that amount of money for running advertisements, not an insane unreasonable amount of ads mind you this is like what five minutes per hour um it's kind of hard to to say no to that i mean gathalian's always run ads he's you know ever since i've known him he's been running ads every hour uh he takes breaks runs hours blah 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 but these are going to be automated so it's going to be a little bit different so you got all that money on the table it's hard to leave that there it really is especially in this environment where we've got to kind of get ahead we got to think months ahead we can't, you know, a lot of us are living month to month, so we can't necessarily just say no to that. And a lot of you are like, well, I'm going to leave and you're going to kill your channel doing that. That's a risk we take. That's a risk we take. And that's that's the reality of being a content creator or a live streamer or a YouTuber. You have to take some risk from time to time. Now, personally, my viewers understand that I need every penny I can get. I've conveyed that to them that I try my best to to provide a, an entertaining amount, uh, enough entertainment or enough enough amount of entertainment, and that was hard to say, to where the advertisements are tolerable. So when I cut, when the ads are over, you'll be glad you stuck around. So I'm trying to provide some sort of a value to this particular situation. Doesn't always work out that way, but I try, right? And naturally, I'm going to have people, people, you know, I've been seeing up, I've been seeing dips and ups and downs when I run my ads. I try to give people a heads up because Twitch says, oh, an ad is about to run in a minute. I'm like, all right, guys, ad's about to run, and I'm in the middle of a game. I can't always stop. I'm like, an ad's about to run. You've been warned. <laughs> Some of my exact words. You've been warned. And they uh, Twitch runs the ads and you have no more pre-rolls. So that's good. That's a good thing about it. No pre-roll ads. So people can just come check out your channel. No ads is running. No ads will run automatically on the pre-roll. Um, and they're paying us a lot more money than they used to. Now, are they paying us the amount we should get? That's another debate for another video. But more money is more money, period. Uh, it's okay to not be content with the money they're giving you and take the money. That's, 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 it's okay to take that money, in my opinion. Now, you might disagree. You might say, oh, boy, you're diminishing yourself, blah, blah, blah. You're devaluing yourself. That's, that's fine. That's a valid opinion. I don't have to agree with it, but it's a valid opinion. Uh, so, so consider this, guys. We're in a really harsh environment. A lot of free things require payment. And you're going to see a lot less free things that your convenience will be left intact after it's all said and done. You're going to see a lot more things where you're going to be inconvenienced. And as technology starts to catch up, Things, tools like Adblock are not going to be as reliable as they used to be. It's a prediction from your boy. You, you're going to have to find some other way. Um, and if you can afford it, I know everybody can afford it. Like I said, it's a tight environment. If you can afford it and you watch Twitch for multiple hours a week, I cannot stress enough Twitch Turbo. Twitch.tv slash Turbo. Check it out before it's gone. Because it's it's kind of too good of a deal. It is kind of too good of a deal for what you're getting, if you ask me. Uh, and I don't think it's going to be there much longer. Sad to say. Uh, I'm a big fan of it. Huge fan. My wife uses it. I use it. I recommend it to everybody I know. If you watch Twitch for multiple hours a week, like you do Hulu, like you do Netflix, like you do all these other sites, uh, I highly, highly recommend you check out Twitch Turbo. Please, for the love of goodness and all that is great. And Golden Grams, check out Twitch Turbo. And if you can afford it, <clears throat> if you can afford it, great. It's going to enhance your experience. 
you're not going to notice any of this stuff that's happening. All these ad incentive stuff, everything. You're going to you're going to be like, what's an ad? When ad ad block ad block breaks for whatever Twitch does, the, the war between ad block and Twitch. When ad block, you're not going to have a clue. You're going to be sitting back enjoying the content, peace of mind. So I'm participating in the ad incentive program. A lot of the streamers, <coughs> a lot of the streamers are participating in the ad incentive program because it's very much worth it. It is very much worth it. It is sad that we have to run ads automatically on live form content. It's a great hindrance to you. It's a great inconvenience to you. It's very, very, very disruptive, but there are ways to get around that. Okay. Um, what we're going to do in the future, I don't know. I don't know what the industry is going to do, or how they're going to adapt, how they're going to make that experience better. But as it stands, it's not very good. But there are ways around it, right? Thankfully, a lot of you and me, we don't depend on live video for everything. We got content like this where an ad can play and you won't miss anything, right? You just have to wait till after the ad is done. And some people can't stand that either. They're just like, oh, an advertisement, I'm out of here. They can't even wait for the ad to finish to, to finish watching the content. Let's be real. People see ad, they run, whether it's live form or not live form. I agree that live form is much more disruptive, but people see ad and they leave. They're like, oh, well, my ad block's not working. I'm, I'm and they, they, they're out. They're gone. And uh, that's that's your payment. And these, in the world of free online content, quote unquote free, your payment is tolerating ads or selling your user data, which a lot of you are doing right now. This is Bona from Bona.tv. This is the ad incentive brouhaha, my thoughts on it. Um, I Like I said, guys, get Twitch Turbo. I think you you will enjoy it. Twitch a lot more if you do get it, if you don't already have it. Twitch.tv slash Turbo. And if you, wanna, you don't want to give Twitch more money, but you want to watch Twitch anyway, here's some cake. You want to eat it too? I'm out.